what are the causal relationship between neurons in V4, V8 and the color coelia? Uh, area V4 or V8 is uh, a part of the RE or RE to mid visual areas. And it is likely uh, to play a uh, key role in a uh, color coelia. And this uh, is uh, evidenced by several lines of their uh, evidence. One is a lesion studies and another one is after effects and uh, combined with the neuroimaging and finally direct electrical stimulation. Okay. So uh, just to uh, review uh, where the V4 is located in the cortical hierarchy. Um, if you remember this element and the Van Nessen diagram based on this layer uh, connectivity, V4 locates around here, uh, above V1, V2, and V3. And this is the part of the ventral visual pathway. On the right side is a ventral pathway, and the left side is a, a dorsal uh, pathway. So uh, the, both in macaque monkeys and humans, uh, when the cortical areas uh, in the occipital back of the head is inflated and then you know uh, map, uh, presented like this map, then the left side of the uh, V1, uh, V1 to V uh, visual field uh, maps onto the right hemisphere uh, of the V1, V2, V3, V4, like this way. And uh, yeah, and the V4 uh, is uh, continuous from a V3. So that's the reason why we, we tend to use the term like V1 to V2 and the V2 to V3 and V3 to V4. Okay, and uh, that's uh, more the same kind of structure between the humans and the macaques. And, uh, uh, is a question of the V1, V4, V8 responsible for color coelia. First, uh, we can take a look at the lesion studies. And uh, this is a rare uh, kind of a case study of the um, patient AR who had a selective lesion in the right ventral areas. Most likely it's the uh, V4, V8 area. So you see some kind of black area around here. That's the uh, MRI scans. And uh, uh, in this uh, patient, with this patient, uh, researchers uh, uh, performed some task. Uh, it's called the hue discrimination task. Um, keeping the brightness and saturation of the color uh, constant. And then uh, uh, they tested basically different kind of hues here. So the color is uh, uh, normally modeled with the brightness and the saturation, brightness in the Z axis and saturation as a sort of the uh, difference from the gray area, uh, gray level. And then uh, hue is the sort of the angle of the color uh, model. And then when they did that, then uh, this particular patient had an, um, a difficulty in um, uh, uh, finding out the uh, hue discrimination in terms of the um, both upper uh, red and also green for specifically on the le upper left hemisphere, uh, upper left uh, visual field. That corresponds to uh, the patient uh, lesion in the uh, lower uh, ventral areas of the uh, V4, okay? And then, uh, however, uh, V4 lesions, uh, monkeys, uh, it turned out to show much milder kind of, you know, color deficit. So um, most likely this patient uh, was impaired in a V4, uh, but also uh, includes some area called uh, uh, V8, most likely. And uh, so V4 itself uh, may not be only uh, re responsible for this, you know, particular kind of, you know, color deficits. And then um, uh, we can also test whether uh, with, uh, V4 is a uh, neural course of consciousness for color. Uh, can you come up with one way of uh, testing this uh, using fMRI? Uh, based on the MT uh, situation, MT case in the last week, uh, we can also think about it for the color case. So one idea uh, the researcher has come up with is to use the color after image. And also uh, one um, in, uh, idea, clever idea, is that uh, to uh, use this you know, constant versus alternating kind of you know, uh, color presentation experiment combined with fMRI. And uh, last week we uh, presented, uh, now we saw the uh, experiment where more visual motion is presented constantly, which produces motion after effects versus 
uh, motion is alternated between you know a, a contraction and expansion, which doesn't uh, um, generate motion after effects. And a sim similar thing can be done with the color. So in terms of phenomenology, what uh, looks like is something like this, you know, um, fixating at the center, and then uh, you would present, you know, constant image at the upper, you know, uh, quadrant, red and green. And then at the bottom, you, you see blue and yellow that is alternating. And then after a few seconds, if you go to after image induction, then you probably see clear blue, uh, greenish and reddish kind of after image here, but nothing here. And that's because blue and yellow stimulus uh, cancel each other to generate, the, um, to prohibit the generating after image. So um, when they did that, uh, uh, they found that uh, it's not the V4 that generate this kind of you know, strong um, uh, after image and also it's neural correlates. So uh, in terms of the MRI um, signals uh, in V8, you see that the alternating colors as well as the constant colors induce a, you know, a, a activation to the similar uh, result. You know, it's similar to the you know, MT situation where alternating motion and constant motion generates similar kind of level of activation. But an important thing is this you know, spike of this increase after stimulus is turned off, right? In the case of a constant color, it shows a transient increase but uh, after the alternating color, it goes down. And uh, when you look at it carefully, then this is a result. So after the constant color, you know, this is after subtracting the alternating and uh, constant color activation, then uh, constant color doesn't uh, generate much response. It's not different between the two conditions, but after the, uh, during the fixation period, constant color produces both after image, after effects, and also, uh, transient you know, activation that follows uh, the after effects. And that is found in B8. And then also uh, in terms of the um, uh, um, evidence from the stimulation, electrical stimulation, V4, V8 seems to elicit the color qualia as well. So this is a experiment where uh, there is a um, uh, link to the movie, which we, we will watch now. Okay, so this is an experiment where the patient was implanted with a lots of electrodes to uh, localize epilepsy uh, foci, and then uh, they uh, uh, he was um, implanted with these electrodes on the ventral surface of the brain from the below, and then uh, it turned out that uh, some of these electrodes are responding to the colorful stimuli, and then uh, they are going to stimulate these electrodes with the eight milliampere. So the one of them is serving as a negative and the other one is a positive one. Okay. And then he's now looking at some kind of book in front of him. And then the right bottom is here. You see this kind of you know, vertical thing that is a recording of the neurons, but, uh, uh, recording of the electrodes, but uh, that's also uh, recording uh, the artifacts generated by the electrical stimulation locally. So that, that's this, you know, blue like uh, areas. So it's now currently stimulated and he's now nodding, seeing something. And by the way, this electrical stimulation and also its location is not possible to feel with the uh, patient because, um, you know, there is no you know, pain receptor inside the brain, it seems. And then he is now not stimulated, and then he started to uh, describe his, you know, response. So uh, while he's see, looking at this in a book, he spontaneously kind of reports that in the left side it starts to become uh, rainbow-like. And then a similar thing is reported on the left side of the ball when he's looking at, and uh, so uh, rainbow is the one that he is experiencing. And something similar happened also when he's looking at uh, the doctor's face. And then uh, this side of the face seems to be flushing in terms of the rainbow colors. Okay. So, so this area 
that uh, responds strongly to color, color other kind of stimulus that uh, produced uh, also um, colored experience when they are stimulated. In summary, uh, V4, V8 is a likely candidate of the neural correlates of color aquaria. Lesion after images, electrical stimulation, uh, all converges to this uh, conclusion. But what is special about the neurons in V4V8 in generating color aquaria? And uh, when you get to that question, then we encounter this as a almost like hard problem. It's unclear why this has to be the case. So uh, we are going to look at um, how we can deal with this uh, type of the problem further. Okay. <clears throat> 